Champions now. We're going to the Hurling Championship and definitely the one that I was most focused on on this weekend, Luke. Obviously, our county champions, Kilmacook Croaks, 218, Clock Balacola, 112. It was really one of the standout results of last season as Clock Balacola beat Kilmacook Croaks in the Leinster Club Championship. That was the semi final before they got torn limb from limb by Ballyhale Shamrocks in that final. But Kilmacook Croaks, after a shaky start, where Clock Balacola went five points to two up. Croaks shook off that bad start and win by 218 to 112. What did you make of them? Uh, yeah, look, very business-like from Croaks. And you can kind of say this about Croaks and every code and every age group, that they all play the same and they're all kind of win and boring manners and stuff as well. So, like, they're, <laughs> they're a team, I suppose, that, like, I think people in Dublin, like, I think people in Dublin love to hate them a little bit. That, look, they, they're so professional and that they're so... Uh, they don't seem to hit like incredible scores. They just seem to go through the process and that they, uh, they just win games, I suppose as well. And that look, it's the same with the football as well as that. Like they very well set up defensively, very structured and everything as well. They were quite in the hurling. Like, I think they're quite reliant on Oshin O'Rourke this year. I think that it, everything seems to be going through O'Rourke and that look, Ronan Hayes's form has absolutely fallen off a cliff. And that it's it's really bizarre. Yeah, no, no score again from Ronan Hayes. It's that you're you look back to that Nafina game last year in the Dublin final where he gave an absolute exhibition and he said this is the moment that people have been comparing him, his body size and everything like that, his physique to Seamus Callan and that people are saying that he's the attributes to be like that, and he's absolutely completely gone the other way. So uh like I think look they're 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 getting through games though as well. And look they you have to say as well that look they this is a, a cluck by call side that is full of talent that turned them over last year. So look, it's it's a really, really good result for Croaks. And that some of those young players coming through, like I think uh Michal Dunahoo will be absolutely delighted looking at some of the young players coming through that yeah, he'll be a bit worried about Ronan Hayes' form. But the likes of Davy Crow is just getting better and better. Mark Grogan at centre half back, Eddie Gibbons in goal, Brian Sheehy in the full back line, and Dara Purcell as well. I think there's talk kind of at the moment that there's a bit of a mass exodus from the Dublin Hurling panel. A lot of players are leaving. There's talk that it could nearly be half the panel next year, nearly up to that, could be new. So I think looking at that, I wouldn't be surprised if all those fellas have talked about maybe Keno Kahasik as well and Keen McGowan, these type of players, all of them could be featuring pretty heavily, I'd say, for Dublin next year. And I wouldn't be shocked as well if Ushin O'Rourke's back starting a key role for Dublin, potentially on freeze as well. Yeah, I think he has to be. I mean, a goal and 11 from Ushin O'Rourke in this game. But then again, we all know the best player in the Dublin final doesn't tend to start in the uh, Dublin team the next year. Just ask Sean Curry. But uh, Matt, what did you make of them? Obviously, Stephen Bergen's goal towards the end made it a bit interesting. But uh, a Croaks three in a row finished off. Clock Balacola's challenge after that goal did go in. Did you think, I'm just asking you, do you think that they're stronger this year than they were last year? It's interesting because I, I think they've learned a lot, really, from last year. Look, I think they went into the game against Clark Balacola not expecting Clark Balacola to play so well. Like, I, I know it's a bit cliche, but they have very good players like Stephen Bourbon and uh, Stephen Picky Mar on their team as well. They have excellent players. So why can the code board up for the challenge last year? I, I'm not sure. But this season, there seems to be something different about them. Like, they're going into a semi-final now against, I think, St. Mullins from Carlo. So that'll be an interesting game itself. They similar to Clark Balacola, they have very good players themselves. So yeah, that'd be that'd be interesting. And uh, you're saying Owen Hayes is playing um, not playing particularly well. Well, the fact he's not playing particularly well and they're still winning games, that's a good sign, really, because he's one of their main players last season. So like there's more players stepping up to the plane if anything for Kilbo Code. And I think that's a positive going into the all Ireland series for them. But uh, St. Mullins is another test for them. Like they can't get ahead of themselves after this performance. Brilliant win against Cap Balacola, but like next game, next challenge now against uh, St. Mullins, who themselves are a pretty good side with very good 